you feel like you could tell me anything? <laughs> oh, even when I've got my cup of tea. This uh, coming week, I've been asked to be on a forum for, um, it's a youth sexuality forum, and I'm, I think I'm on as the token, one of the token adult. I'm not sure why I'm actually on, like, I'm not really an expert on sex. I've had a lot of sex with a lot of different people, so I suppose it makes me a sex expert. You know, but I don't know if you could actually, you know, come to me for real advice. You know, I have read a lot of doctor, you know, magazine doctors. I don't even know if they're doctors, I think, you know. Who knows, maybe they really are doctors. But in thinking about it as a mother of many children, you start to think about, you know, you really want your kids to have an honest discourse with you about sex. And that's all well and good, but the reality is, it's got to start back here at home base. How honest are you prepared to be with your young people about what you did because you know or at least I do I know that I have been a lot worse than they would ever be not that you say worse or worse but I've done a lot more things probably than they will ever do and am I going to tell it no no way or maybe I will because there is this tendency isn't there like as much as we all go sort of chemical free that when it comes to our stories we like to bleach them we get the bleach out and sanitize them because we're not going to tell our children the truth and yet we expect them to tell us everything. I mean, how can, are you ready for the truth? Could you handle it without actually judging them or, or telling them that they're wrong? I don't know. Because I thought about my own story and I thought, oh, you know, I actually told my daughter, this is true, my, my eldest daughter, because she was, you know, interested in, you know, her boyfriend, you know, under the age of 16. So I lied to her. I told her I didn't have sex at 16. That was such a lie. I was actually her age. I'm so sorry. You know, but it's true because I thought if I tell her that I, you know, also had sex at 15, I'm kind of like legitimising it. She goes, well, you did it. So I had to pretend I didn't. I don't think that's actually a really good approach. I could have just told the truth, which is that I had sex at 15 and it was bloody awful. You know, it was, oh God, it was terrible. It was just like this, oh. I think for the guy it was obviously quite good, but you know, in a country town, you know, having sex was like terrifying because not like you, there was, you know, you would just sit there with this high level of anxiety counting down the days to your next period because it was like, it was like a country town lottery. Like you just watch your friends pop off. As, that's how they kept the sort of the actual numbers up in the country town. Now there's more access to contraception. Country towns are dying. But in the old days, you know, I had a friend. She had three children by 16, her first at 13. Another friend of mine found out she was pregnant and about to have a baby two weeks before the delivery date. And another friend, she was a real sweetheart. She got pregnant at 16, at least she was the right age. And she ended up being sent to one of those nuns' homes for, you know, for naughty sluts. And so it was terrifying. I was absolutely terrified. And, you know, like boys would actually use condoms, you know, because sex was just a milestone. It was just like you had to have it, sort of like it is now, really. Like, kind of, you know, now they kind of make out a bit more, but different. It's exactly the same. But boys never used condoms then, probably a bit like now, still don't use them. But then there was, I remember boys always had condoms, and I think it was the same one, like one guy would hand it down to the next guy. It was just a blue packet they kept in their, in their wallet. It was probably like 15 years old or something. No one ever, they just put it, because when they opened up, it looked like they were big men with their big man condom in there. Like, yeah, I have sex, I'm really responsible. Like, I don't think I ever, ever met a guy that actually offered to use a condom in those, in those they wouldn't, wouldn't bother. They actually wouldn't have time to get it on if they even knew how to use it. And it's probably so old, it would have just disintegrated into dust, you know, because they, they all have that, you know, belief system, I remember then, was all about, you know, why would you use a condom? It's like having a shower, you know, with a raincoat on, which, now actually sounds quite kinky. Uh, I'm all for showering with a rain going on. But that was my experience, you know, and then I thought, well, you know, you know, I had to get through. I don't know how I didn't get pregnant. I was just lucky, I guess. I was just really lucky. Other than that, I was a bit of a witch. I did actually try it one point. I thought I'll give being a lesbian a crack with my, you know, my best friend and I thought we'd have a bit of a go at it. Um, Anyway, it was funny how that, you know, even before my friends and the rest of the school probably even aware of things like homophobia, they were really good at it. <laughs> because, you know, that didn't go down well at, you know, as well as it was hoped. That sounds like a strange thing to say. But, you know, you would have thought that would have been a really good viable option for a girl that wanted to keep her eggs intact. Seemed like a good idea at the time. You know, but then, you know, as you go through, that was it. You know, by the time I left school at 16, because I started early in Queensland, I'd had, I think, about seven sexual partners. 
um, narrowly escaped being pregnant and had one dose of the crabs, which I'd actually told my mum I got from the toilet seat, which I know you actually can't, but mum just had no idea. Sorry, mum. <laughs> okay, that's a bit much of an overshare, but you know, you've got to start somewhere. That's me telling the truth as a parent. Now you tight, yeah, it's your turn. Why don't you have a crack at it? See what you get back. Sorry, kids. <laughs>